Hello everyone, Jamin here from Import Data and welcome back to my channel. So what have we done so far for this tutorial? We have collected the K-pop data, we've done some cleaning, we have explored the data to find the relationships among different variables, we have created five different models and found out that XGBoost was the best one to predict the number of hours you listen to K-pop, and in the last tutorial we created or we deployed a model and we created a web application using Flask. We have come a long way and kudos to all of you who made to this point. I personally enjoy this journey because I've learned some new technologies that I've never used before. I learned how to use Research CV to find optimal parameters and I learned how to deploy a model, which was very cool. Now I would like to end this tutorial by documenting my work on GitHub and by creating a simple portfolio website using GitHub pages. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna go to the K-pop repository in my GitHub. And as you can see here, I have already written some explanations as I finish each process. But I would like to add an overview section so that other people who are looking at this can have a faster understanding of what I'm doing in this project. So let me hit edit in the readme section. And above the intro, I'm gonna add an overview overview and I'm going to say um, created a web application that returns the predicted number of hours one listens listens to k-pop on a daily basis using flask and I guess I can say MAE is about 1.2 hours. Um, and I guess I'm going to say engineered features from the text of each column. This is from the data cleaning process. And um, explored the data to analyze the analyze oh yeah. relationships among the features or variables and then built five different regression models linear lasso rich uh, what was it? Random Forest and XG Boost. And um, optimize the Random Forest and the XG Boost model using grid search CV to find the uh, optimal parameters. And I'm just going to say add a overview and hit commit changes. All right, now we said it's added here. Now, the next thing is to create a repository for the portfolio website. So going to go back to my account and go to the repositories and create a new one and I'm just going to call this DS um, simple portfolio a repo for creating a simple portfolio website and I'm going to initialize it with the readme file and here I'm going to create a, another file, or I guess another folder for images. And I'm also going to initialize a readme file in here, a folder for images. Because I would like to add some images to the portfolio website. All right, so under the portfolio website or portfolio uh, repository, 
there's a readme file and then I'm gonna re I'm gonna edit this and it's gonna this is what it's gonna show on my portfolio website so here I'm going to say project one um, k-pop analysis and let me go back to the overview and I'm just gonna copy and paste this um, over view I think this is how you bold it and I'm gonna add bullet points in front of each section add a, a, add a description and I guess that's not how you bold it All right. uh, mark down how to bold oh it's two asterisks okay and there we go now I'm going to add some images for the website the portfolio website um, let me go back to the images folder before that uh, let's see what images we should use so I'm definitely gonna create definitely gonna put an image for the web application which is from which you can find from here my kpop repo and I'm probably gonna add some pictures for exploratory data analysis which you can find here so I guess these two images okay so let me go back to my k-pop analysis repository and go to images folder and um, downloads download these files right click uh, right click save image as and go back also download the K-pop web application image and let me see was it this one positive effects yeah all right save image in my downloads all right cool now I'm going to put these files in the images folder under the simple portfolio repositories I'm going to click upload files and put these in here. Added images, hit comment changes. All right, so the, the images are there. Now go back to the README and add the images. And I'm just going to copy and paste what I did from the other repository. So it looks like you just kind of use this. Okay. And I believe the file name was called kpop GUI. Let's see an image if that works. Okay, that does not work, which makes me think that I'm going to have to copy and paste the path of this particular image. So copy um, link address. and paste it here and let's see what happens now cool that's how you do it okay now I'll do the same thing for this section right here and let me copy and paste the image addresses edit 
Mm, threes. And what was the other one? Positive bits. Yeah, this one. Right click, copy image or copy address, paste it here and put it in the right format. So it shows on the readme page. And let's see if that works. Added images. And there we go. Now we have images. Now the next part would be hosting a website using GitHub pages. So to do that, you just click go to settings under the repository and go down to GitHub pages. And under source, instead of none, you're gonna to wanna to create or you're gonna to wanna to hit master branch. And it should create a website. Okay. So let's see what it looks like right now. There isn't a GitHub pages site here. It might be that it's taking some time, so let's give it a time for it to process a little bit. And here you can choose a theme as well. So I guess I'll just use this theme for now. And let's see if the website is working. And it looks like it's lagging a little bit. Hmm. All right, awesome. So it looks like there's some problem with images. So maybe we have to fix the fix the path for images. How about we do the same similar thing we did for the other repository. Um, I can't really remember. So I'm gonna go back to the K-pop analysis repository and check how I added images there. So yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna have to use this kind of format. And will this work? Let's see. Fix an image. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it's that I, um, oh. oh, it's work. Okay, it, it was just taking, oh wait, I see. So it looks like it's working on the website itself, but not on the readme, which is pretty interesting, but I guess let me go ahead and fix the other files. So it looks like I don't need all this junk. And I just need to add the name of the file instead. Fixed images in the path. And let me see if it's updated on here. Still lagging behind. Oh. I made a mistake here. Awesome, there we go. So we see that pictures are there and this is a very simple portfolio website we can make in like probably around 10 minutes. And let me add a link to this, uh, this K-pop repository on the website. So go back to the readme file and add a link to this repository. Is right here, copy and paste it. Added a K pop repo link. And it is working from the README. And let's see if it's working on the website itself. 
probably going to take some time. Not sure why it's not working on the website. Hmm. Let me see how to add a link on GitHub. Read me in GitHub. Read me. Maybe there's some kind of format that I'm missing. Yeah, oops. Hmm. Um, this is what I did. It didn't, didn't I do this? Oh, there we go. It was just taking some time. Awesome. So there you go. We were able to create this Simple website, probably in like a t in 10 minutes. And I hope you make use of it, play with it, and make it into your own portfolio. Again, thank you so much for tuning in this tutorial. And if you find values in my video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this.